Next, we come to the activated pineal gland. What are the benefits of activating the pineal gland? I think we can now give a lot of examples as possible with this pineal gland that fires and fires and shoots. Yes, that reminds me, for example, you can have pineal flashes have in both directions. Flash of the future, flash of the past, Deja vu. We will attach an extra video for you about the deja vus you can look at. This takes about half an hour. Deja vu is also a very fascinating topic. With deja vu, you can practically get back to your origins reality that you actually really want to go to. And can also recognize that we are not really at all out here because the deja vu is sent from the future but just watch the video because we explain everything there very, very guide. Regarding the visions of the future, yes, that's as the word says. You, you can take a look into your future with the pineal. In einer bestimmten Zeitlinie ihr könnt ihr sehen, was ihr erwarten wird. Ihr werdet dann erkennen. Ah. In drei Monaten werde ich heiraten, das ist der Zeitpunkt, an dem ich den Bund fürs Leben schließe. In the near future, I am considering the possibility of getting married to my friend XY. Alternatively, I am contemplating the idea of transitioning to a new job or perhaps acquiring a new pet dog. Insights into the future are often not banal. The same applies in the opposite direction. Direction two, you can see past lives through this. You can use it to look into past lives. You can use it to gain insights or information from your listening itself. Get through this pineal flash by you, so to speak. Packets of information are sent to your brain, that this then translates this package, the information, break it down, and suddenly you have a thousand out of one package information and a knowledge of things that you have never heard of before, have no idea at. In my personal experience, these occurrences also feel like flashes in the pineal gland. Yes, for instance, this phenomenon is achievable through the activation of the pineal gland. Yes, and all of this can be summarized as the ability to perceive events in the future through extrasensory perception, or what some might almost call clairvoyance. Yes, exactly. So the clairvoyant abilities increase by activating the pineal gland too. So you can see into the future. Of course, it doesn't mean that what you see in the future always has to be 100% true because you can see probable futures. So futures that have the potential to occur, although they are in close proximity, these occurrences often come to pass, although it is not a certainty. Have to. So if you see something bad in the future, it doesn't have to be automatically mean that this will happen. At least not in your reality. Since you have many realities in parallel, it can also be easy that you see this for another alternative. Yes, in addition, apart from experiencing deja vu, the activation of the pineal gland flashes and heightened clairvoyant abilities, which increase as a result generally a much, much clear focus, much clear perception. The senses are somehow sharpened and you can do them better. Concentrate and focus on certain things that are in your mind, everyday life done or what. It is important to consider what you want to focus your attention on or what is important to you. There are still many possibilities when the pineal gland is activated. An activated pineal gland and what then? What also stands out is the connection to cosmic consciousness. For me, for example, I see aliens can. At this moment, I am unable to have physical contact with them or engage in conversation with them, but I am able to, for example, see them. It's possible to perceive interdimensional beings through channeling. With a highly activated pineal gland, you can hear and communicate with them as you would with physical ears. In my case, it's more like an income of thought, where you are aware that you haven't originated the thought yourself. In that direction is also a viable option for movement. I believe the term for that is not Helvetia. This is more of a connection to cosmic consciousness. You can perceive more interdimensionally, perceive more multidimensionally, just... Yes, exactly. Our physical 3D plane is indeed a component of the 4D plane. It's just that the physical...
The physical eyes can only perceive the 3D plane usually. The energy center, also known as the sixth chakra, is stimulated solely by the activation of the pineal gland. This is the only way in which the energy center is stimulated, and it is commonly referred to as the sixth chakra. And that's where you start to perceive the 4D level, and there. Perceiving, perceiving the timelines, perceiving things that us normally completely missed by the physical eyes. And just like Shiva said, you can really do aliens too, perceive who are just passing by on the 4D level. There could be an alien in your room right now, or maybe someone in his astral body and you would him. You don't even notice it because you only look with your physical eyes. If your circulatory gland were active, you could sense that someone was up the 4D level, has just entered your room. It's also the case that your physical eyes, just like your brain, only run at low speed. In other words, you literally put blinders on your eyes. In other words, you only perceive the things that you believe to exist. This means that your perception is limited to your existing beliefs and assumptions. Exists. Would you believe that you can see 4D aliens or 5D aliens? Then your consciousness would expand. This means that you would also become more with your physical eyes. Perceive. Perhaps this has also happened to you at times. For instance, when you are looking straight ahead, you may notice a shadow to the left in your peripheral vision. Or perhaps you suddenly catch sight of a shimmering figure, barely perceptible. Then you can already watch in 4D or 5D, but you don't believe really on it, so you can't really see it. But if you took the blinders off, I think the sayings are, if it wasn't invented for nothing, then the ability would also be your eyes expand due to the activated pineal gland, of course. It's not the same with the listeners. We actually practically have earplugs in and one veiled glasses on. You have to clean these glasses and gradually the earplugs take out. And you do that through the activated pineal gland and then your senses also refine and you can also use these senses, eyes and ears, perceive more, for example, if you pull the veil around your eyes through the, if you ventilate the activated pineal gland a little and can see more clearly, then of course you can also see the aura or entity like I do said. Sometimes you see a glitter or a shadow and that you can then see more, but you, when we talk about seeing the aura, we are referring to the ability to perceive a subtle energy field that surrounds every object, person or animal. This aura is often described as a white flickering film that envelops the body or the object. For instance, every individual, every item, and every creature possesses this unique aura. Of course, you can train and expand that. Of course, you can also see colors. But this little white border, that's, for example, the aura. And you can also learn to perceive it. Yes, what else do we have? Yes, engaging in the practice of lucid dreaming becomes significantly more accessible as well. This implies that through the activation of the pineal gland, one also automatically recalls a greater number of lucid dreams experienced during the night. So dreams in which you realize that you are dreaming. And when you realize within a dream that you are dreaming, it is the same effect. Namely, everything around you becomes much, much clearer. You see everything in razor-sharp focus and everything becomes really three-dimensional and clear. And that's just a lucid dream. A dream where you realized you were dreaming. And through the DMT molecules, which sometimes come from the pineal gland, be released into, if in fact the stored quantity of DMT that the pineal gland retains for the momentous day of one's passing is insufficient, it may occasionally result in the pineal gland becoming somewhat more replete than the necessary stored amount. Da Isabel Druse gibt etwas ins Blut ab, woraus diese spontanen Erfahrungen resultieren. Which you can have at night or during the day, like realizations, sudden realizations. Or that you experience a clairvoyant moment or lucid has dreams. Yes. A typical indication of an activated pineal gland is the sudden visualization of portals within your inner consciousness. In the context of practicality, one may encounter wormholes, which can either approach or move away. I refer to them as practical quantum tunnels, as they facilitate access to the cosmic plane 
and interdimensional, multidimensional beings. And that means can practically see a ring. And this ring gets bigger, comes closer to you and goes behind you one way and then come notch ein ring or notch ein ring or notch ein ring. Damit weißt du, dass du praktisch in diesem Wormloch bist. Wormhole, with your consciousness, of course, not with the physical body, but with consciousness. You are in this wormhole and you can then come out somewhere and suddenly notice things speak as I see. In the hypnagogic state, you may hear beings or your higher self. You are practically connected to the cosmic consciousness and experience these perceptions. I have already noticed this quantum exactly. In meditation, yes, these are really round rings that come towards. In this scenario, one can envision that a portion of the consciousness or the pineal gland reveals a portal, providing access to the quantum universe or a multidimensional universe, or however one may wish to label it, or to the cosmic collective consciousness, you could say. And that is expressed in these quantum tunnels. And also not just lucid dreams or the perception of quantum tunneling is possible through an activated pineal gland. But you may also have spontaneous out-of-body experiences experienced. And suddenly one experiences sleep paralysis at night where the body becomes immobile due to a switch occurring at that moment to the so-called the term corpor refers to the physical body or the spiritual body which allows one to leave their physical form and move through the world as an invisible entity. Indeed, with an activated pineal gland, you can also provoke or induce mental projections. This refers to consciousness projections, implying that I suddenly become Jonathan. No, my consciousness is briefly in Jonathan's body example or in a cat or in a ball. We also shot a video about consciousness projection. We will also add this as an additional video at the back. But that is also one way in which this can express itself activated pineal. Yes, it's consciousness projection. Very exciting. Yes, the exciting thing about consciousness projection is that you can be, consciousness can be transferred into another living being and then perceives the world from his perspective. And of course, this also strengthens your empathic ability zones. This means that the empathic abilities become stronger and stronger and stronger. You can and can empathize with other people much better, also understand them much, much better. What this makes noticeable is that we are all one. Nothing is separated from each other. So you practically suddenly feel the connection to everything. And that's not a real separation, that everything is somehow connected, connected energetically. You can at least see and feel that. In addition, another advantage of the activated cerebral gland is that you just have a stronger power of suggestion. Because through the different states, states of consciousness, the, you experience it there, or just by lying in bed and meditating, you also get deeper into the states in which suggestions are a lot appear stronger. If you then have some wish or a change in your, if you want to summon life, you can do so in these states with one, the more active. The pineal gland has the ability to place suggestions much more strongly, allowing them to be implemented into physical reality more quickly. Additionally, with the activated pineal gland, one can also detect manipulations much more effectively. Manipulations, such as those encountered in the press, particularly in the mainstream media or on television, are a common occurrence. For instance, then, for example, see where they are, manipulation of the masses has been placed. The celiac gland makes this possible. You can then no longer be fooled so quickly, you could say, no longer be tricked so quickly, because die Zirbel drusse seit einem dann, warum es der Mandarin wirklich geht, und das, warum es der Mandarin wirklich geht, muss nicht mit dem Uberen steimen, was der und der ersaut. 
says you can look better with the active toe gland because you are looking, yes, with three eyes and not just with... Yes, another advantage or ability is that you are able to perceive the frequency ranges much more effectively. In other words, you are no longer limited to just the 3D plane. Only on the 3D level, of course, you can even the intermediate areas. You're not allowed to go in like that. Now think dimensions, I say. So most people say you are in the fourth or fifth dimension, dimension or sixth dimension. But it's actually a lot. It makes more sense to divide it into frequency ranges because it has a dimension, probably, I don't know, 100,000 frequency. Ranges and di-interdimensional beings are on different frequency ranges to be found. Not everyone is at 100 hertz or at a million hertz, but it is there are so many frequency ranges that you can learn to perceive example also through the ear. You may often hear a beeping sound, but we'll discuss it in more detail later. When you hear a beep, you might think, oh no, I have tinnitus. No, you don't actually have tinnitus. You just have the wrong tinnitus radio frequency, I'll say. Set. If you would tinker a bit with the transmitter, that is, if you were to set the correct frequency, you would notice some alien is trying to communicate with you or your spirit guides or your higher self. Someone just wants to communicate with you. Unfortunately, you just have the wrong channel in there. And of course, this also works with the eyes. This means you can perceive other frequency ranges, for example, from, and this is 4D, nothing is open up to the top. Yes, for example, you can suddenly see better in the dark. So it's not just your surroundings that you can see better when you go to example your physical eyes and the circulatory gland together. If you pair it, I say, you can suddenly... When you perceive and see your etheric body around you, it means that you suddenly have the ability to see your aura surrounding you even in the darkness. The room was so dark that you could suddenly see it clearly, just as you once experienced. The scene was reminiscent of the sun shining brightly and clearly. It was as if the sun's radiance illuminated everything with its brilliance. Similarly, the unexpected appearance of the lady you witnessed added to the surreal atmosphere of the moment. In the darkness, you were able to visually perceive them in their entirety. It was a visit from a lady from the astral realm. Yes, and the room was completely dark, and at that moment it was standing there. I was able to perceive it very distinctly, almost as if it were a physical presence. So over the course of my life, I've had the opportunity to meet several individuals who also possess a rather active sea gland. Interestingly, there were one or two among them who were even able to perceive the presence of deceased individuals in a completely ordinary manner, enclosed in quotation marks and perceived with the physical eyes. Therefore, they seem entirely physical to the observer. Furthermore, upon entering a room, they consistently find themselves in the position of needing to inquire how many people are in one room here, and if they say three and she sees four people in the room, know them, one of them died. Exactly. So the perceptions can even be similar, so strong that you can hardly distinguish it from the physical one. This is because the pineal gland has the same visual pathways or optic nerves used like the physical eye. But if you're just starting out, for example, your pineal gland to activate and descale, you may not be able to yet physically see these beings directly. But for example, you also have one idea. For example, you suddenly feel uncomfortable in your room or you, you feel like someone is there. This also indicates a more activated pineal gland because this feeling, you should also hear it because then it is there to someone. Then there is either an astral traveler or a deceased person. You can already feel it. These are the first signs that your pineal gland is starting to work. The sensitivity is refined. All of the senses become more refined. Therefore, the ability to perceive also improves. When you are sitting in the toilet and you have the sensation that you are being observed, it is indeed the case. Case, then you will also be watched. In this situation, you are unable to physically perceive the individual, but your intuition provides you with a sense of their presence and characteristics. But your intuition tells you there you don't have to worry or be afraid. Wait a minute, because it can't do anything. She is just looking at you. Perhaps she is a voyeur or maybe a friend who has projected a part of his consciousness to you. And your intuition registers it as a greeting from the target. Or rather, your intuition tells you, hey, there is someone there.
Ja, die Intuition wird gesagt, was bedeutet, dass das innere Gefühl oder die Verrücktheit etwas zu wissen, ohne dass es erklärt oder bewissen wird, gesagt wird? Yes, that is indeed correct. The process of intuition is being enhanced and made stronger. The body feeling is also strengthened. In other words, you can physically feel when something is right for you feels. So your intuition tells you that feels right. And then your body also reacts to it. This means you might get goosebumps or chills something or your body just reacts to your intuition, which is strengthened was due to the more activated pine size. Okay, another example of what's possible with one activated silver gland, interdimensional travel, for example. That means you take your consciousness and you can really go anywhere beyond. Es gibt mehrere Möglichkeiten, die es zu tun, durch mentale oder Bewusstseinsprojektion oder durch das Sehen der interdimensionalen Realität neben deiner physischen Realität. This means that you can be alongside. Ich sehe dich schon daneben sehe ich einen Arcturianer. Beides wird parallel angesagt und du kannst hin und her switchen durch ferne Welten und andere Planeten ins freie Universum dieses Universums. Astral life, you can do anything with it, visit. This is called interdimensional travel. And you can see that too, all the creatures. And of course, you need a very, very activated pineal gland to achieve this. But that is also, and there are several potential outcomes in this situation. One possibility is that you can learn from it. Alternatively, you may have the ability to channel, similar to the way in which the medium Jane Roberts channeled the seed. In other words, this implies that he actually has, has a very specific connection to a certain multidimensional being and can receive the messages. This also makes it very clear with just a halfway activated pineal gland, you get it something purely intuitive, but of course through the mind is interpreted and of course many can channeling messages can be misunderstood or misinterpreted, and that, of course, loses the clarity and purity. But I, I think Jane was already very active and made that very clear, brought over. Yes, definitely. So that's the case with all the channeling media. I would, I would say that Jan Roberts is really the most unaffected one, almost say. Yes, these are the advantages that come with having an activated pineal gland or an overview. Naturally, we will delve into this topic in much greater detail. Detail in the next time. And now you can get an idea. What do you actually gain from activating your pineal gland? You practically have a multi-world, so to speak. You don't just have one world, the 3D world, but one multi-world opportunity. So you...